Welcome to 2022. Welcome back to E2TOEIC. I'm Jay. And I'm Mark. And in this video, we're going to talk about passing TOEIC in 2022. You can do it, and we are going to help. That's right. If you're watching this, it means you need to get your TOEIC scores in 2022, and maybe you need to get them next week or next month, or maybe in six months' time. And maybe you just need reading and listening scores. Either way, you have to start thinking about it now. Mark, you've been teaching English language test prep for 10 years. What's the most important thing someone should do to pass their TOEIC? You need to set goals. You need to break your main goal of passing TOEIC into smaller daily goals and weekly goals so that the main goal becomes achievable. The first thing you should do is download the 2022 TOEIC Goal Setter from the description below. That's right. You're going to use the Goal Setter to set your daily and weekly goals and stick to them so you can achieve your main goal of getting a high score. Right. We'll be working through this goal setter as we move through the video together. Download it, print it out, stick it on your fridge, use it. Just keep in mind that E2's helped over one and a half million students get the English language test scores they need. So we know what you need to do. I also recommend subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us. And if you really just want to get the job done as soon as possible, Click the link in the description below and go across to E2 Test Prep. Okay, before we look at each section of the test and what you need to do to pass, I want to quickly talk to you about three considerations before you do anything. First, find out your target scores. Right. It's up to you to find out what score you need for your job. This is a critical first step as it sets a stake in the ground. This becomes your aim or target. Second, find out your current scores. Exactly. You need to know where you stand or where your English is in relation to your target scores. You can do this by doing practice questions on E2. The TOEIC preparation course on E2 is perfect for building your TOEIC skills and scores. It covers all four skills and has hundreds of high quality practice questions. Great. So I know my target scores, and I will know my current scores. What's the third consideration? Third, determine the gap between your target scores and your current scores. This is your major aim, to close this gap. We're now going to go through each section of the test, and Mark and I will give you our most important goal-setting tips, OK? Make sure you get the downloadable goal setter from the description below. By doing this now, it'll make your life a lot easier in the future. OK, let's talk about how to pass TOEIC listening in 2022. I highly recommend listening to podcasts. They're a great way to improve your English while you're doing something else, like driving or sitting on the bus. And I highly recommend subscribing to the Everyday English Podcast by E2. It's a podcast in English about learning English, so it's super helpful. Great idea. So write this onto your daily goal setter for listening. Listen to some English every single day, even if it's just two minutes. It'll help. What do you recommend for TOEIC listening, Jay? My biggest tip is to learn the four TOEIC listening tasks back to front. You need to know part one, the photographs questions, part two, question response, part three, conversations, and part four, the talks. And I'd really recommend practicing part four, the talks. You might want to write this down as your weekly goal. Attend a TOEIC listening live class on E2 each week. Yeah, they're great, very helpful. And our teachers are the best. All right, let's talk about how to pass TOEIC reading in 2022. What's your main tip? to get a high score in reading in 2022, Jay? Uh, well, I hate to say it, but reading is all about vocabulary. So you'll need to continually build your vocabulary. As such, I recommend reading in English every single day, even if it's just one news story or one magazine article. 
try to make it a habit. Write this down as your daily goal for reading. I'd also recommend reading widely across a variety of topics and also keeping flashcards to note down new words. So when you come across a new word, think about whether it's a noun, a verb, or an adjective, write it down, and then write down the translation on the back. And then you need to review your vocab once a week as well. Yeah, good idea. You never know what the reading passages will be about, so it's a good idea to have a broad vocabulary and to be comfortable reading about a broad range of topics. So what I would do as my weekly goal for reading is do some high quality practice questions on E2. You'll start to see how these questions work, how the synonyms work, how the distractors work, and how to understand those tricky question types. All right, Jay, so before we get into writing, what about you? What are your goals for 2022? Well, I'm going to study maths and physics, not. Whoa. <laughs> no, not really. It's not my thing. Uh, this year, I'm going to study Farsi, which is the Persian language with it, which they speak in uh, Iran and Afghanistan, I think in Tajikistan as well. So that's my goal. So every day, I'm going to learn a little bit of vocabulary. I'm going to have my weekly goals as well, where I listen to a podcast, something like that. That's my aim for 2022. Pretty cool. Yeah. What about you? Well, uh, I'm learning Catalan. Uh, I've been learning it for a little while. I'm already at a pretty intermediate level. Mm -hmm. uh, Catalan is a language they speak in northeastern Spain. And uh, yeah, I've got to really step up my regular uh, reading and listening. And I'm going to make a better effort as well uh -huh. to make notes on uh, not just new vocabulary, but short expressions that I can also use when I'm speaking. Nice. Yeah. So you'll have daily and weekly goals? Yes. So it'll be reading, listening, but more importantly, I'm going to be reviewing uh, the vocabulary that I make notes of. And it's not going to be like lots and lots and lots. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of important to have like, you know, maybe 16 short phrases or or key organization words, and to learn those really well. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not going to try to learn, you know, translations or, or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Make your goals achievable. Yeah. All right, we're up to writing. So how do we pass TOEIC writing in 2022? You may not have to do a TOEIC writing as part of your test, but it's a great chance to improve your written English. What's your biggest tip for improving writing, Jay? My biggest tip is to improve your grammar. You can't have sloppy grammar. You know, little things like articles or prepositions or verb tenses, you have to get them right. In order to do this, I recommend checking out another YouTube channel we have called E2 English. So in the search bar, just search E2 English or click the link in the description below. There are lots of great videos on there to help straighten out your grammar. Write this into your weekly goal setter. Watch one E2 English video per week. It's really important that you learn how to structure your writing, especially the essay. Learning how to write the TOEIC essay will really help you out. Again, you can learn all of this in our live classes on E2. So we have two weekly tips. Watch an E2 English grammar video here on YouTube and join the live writing classes. Do you have any daily tips? Well, you know the vocabulary that you learned earlier. Use it in a sentence. Write a sentence with it. Maybe when you create your flashcard, write an example sentence in that flashcard. So, in short, write a sentence or two every day using the vocabulary that you've learned from reading. Okay, let's talk about how to pass TOEIC speaking in 2022. Again, you may not have to take TOEIC speaking as part of your exam, but this is a fantastic opportunity to improve your speaking. What's your biggest tip to improve speaking, Jay? Well, if you don't have someone to speak English with, then I'd recommend reading aloud. It's a really helpful way to train your pronunciation and gain confidence, and it's actually a TOEIC question type as well. So on your goal sheet, you might want to write down read aloud under the daily speaking goal. 
What about you, Mark? What do you think is critical for TOEIC speaking success? Personally, I think doing all of the practice questions on E2 will help your speaking. They're a great resource for practicing your pronunciation and other speaking skills. So maybe once a week, do some practice TOEIC speaking questions on E2. Okay, so here are our final tips to pass TOEIC in 2022. Don't leave it to the last minute. I've seen a lot of people prepare for their TOEIC test the week before or the day before their test, then they get their results and of course they're disappointed. So you need to plan ahead and use your time wisely, but we are here to help you. What about you? Do a little bit of practice every day and don't forget to join the live classes at E2 so you can interact with our teachers. Fantastic. Do you have any tips? Put them into the comments below and don't forget to click subscribe. My name is Jay. I'm Mark. Thank you very much. And we wish you the best of luck on your TOEIC test.